uh, one of my favorite quotes as it relates to business is, there's no such thing as a bad market, just bad marketing. And so if you guys have been struggling to find deals in your market, it's not because there aren't any, it's simply that you aren't marketing to these sellers in such a way that they are wanting to do business with you. Now, we as an organization had our best year last year on the house flipping side of our business. We flipped more houses last year than we had in the previous four years. Uh, and we have already, uh, as, as of June, uh, we have almost flipped as many houses in 2021 as we did in all of 2020. So we can't use things like moratoriums and nationwide moratoriums and market cycles and things being out of control and super hot to justify a lackluster performance. It's our responsibility as the CEOs of our organization. And that's why you are here because you are in many respects, many of you are solopreneurs, which means it's you and you alone, but that still makes you the CEO of the business. So your job as CEO is to drive to the goals that you've established for your company and push everybody involved, whether right now they be independent contractors or subcontractors or, or, or hired virtual assistant labor. Your job is to push them to make the company successful. That's your responsibility as the CEO is to make it rain and everybody else can help you manage the water. So some things for you to be aware of CEOs of your businesses is right now, this is the big headline, help wanted. We have a severe shortage of willing labor. And the problem, the challenge, and the reason it's not willing is most states are still offering that additional incentive for unemployment. Uh, now, the governor of the state of Idaho was actually the governor of the state of Montana was the first to act, but very, very closely followed by the governor of Idaho, where they said, you know what, we're done paying this extra unemployment incentive uh, go back to work. Uh, right here in downtown Coeur d'Alene, we have restaurants that are closing on Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Thursdays because they can't find labor. They can't get somebody to show up and deliver food from the kitchen to the table, which fascinates me because my 14-year-old son got a job working at the local amusement park and he's making nine bucks an hour, literally delivering a plate of food from the kitchen to the table. He's 14, he's willing to work. And if you right now are watching this and you are unemployed and still drawing that additional benefits package, can I please strongly encourage you to get off of your assets and get out into the marketplace and start doing something. And if you are in an area that is depressed and you don't have jobs, uh, same advice they gave us, you know, 150 years ago, go west, go west. We got plenty of jobs here. I need construction laborers. I need drywall people. I need roofers. I need, I need mechanics. I need, I, I need, uh, uh, I need electricians. I need plumbers. Guys, we got an abundance of work. And unfortunately, nobody who's real excited to fill those jobs.